morning. Welcome to some Arma. This is just going to be a short video of the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick and how I have it configured for Arma. Here's a little schematic just showing how I have some of the buttons mapped. And this isn't, you know, hard and fast rules of this is the best, but I found a lot of useful stuff. Uh, so just in the control mapping, we're going to go look real quick. You can see you know, a lot of the obvious ones like fire and command fire are both uh, the the trigger button. Uh, I use the second button here to change between command fire and manual fire. The reason I do that is because that's something I want to have access to quickly and easily. So my thumb is already there if I'm ever flying a gunship. Gun Same reason I put lock target here. And on number five I have switch weapons. Over here I put the, the sling load assist to turn that on up here and the sling load down here. Now that's not something you use too often uh, but I thought it'd be kind of useful to have um, because when you do use it you want it to be readily available and you don't have to be moving your hand back and forth to the keyboard and here and back and forth and losing control. So now I'm going to talk real quick about the look. So I use the hat. I don't have the uh, track IR or anything or free track. So what I did was I just set all these left look, left look up, you know, to 315 up here, you know, look up, you know, push up, that kind of thing. And that lets you look around using just the hat. It actually works pretty good, but there's a bit of a trick to it. So you say, oh look, I can look up and down, I can center my look, and if I look right though, it snaps over. And, but you don't want that because I just want to look a little bit left, but the up and down works. So what you can do is just lock your free look in while you're flying, and since all your move controls come from the joystick, you don't really have to worry about free look being on. So you can just look around using the hat real easily. And I find it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it works great, you know, for viewing things, looking around, finding targets, maneuvering. Uh, don't have any problems with it. So other than that, so you don't want to you don't want to map it to move head or anything like that. Just, you know, the look up, look down, all these right here. Pretty easy, and I have free look mapped to the left alt. So, and on these buttons down here, uh, we have uh, the helicopter movement ones. I have auto hover here. I have center look here on number nine. I have my countermeasures, that's the flares here. Uh, I have zoom, button 12. I like that to be separate from my joystick controls because let's say I'm I'm looking around I'm trying to lock targets changing weapons firing I want to be able to use my left hand to hold in the zoom button because it's not a zoom toggle it's you know a zoom you hold it in it's on it's off now I left 8 and 10 blank because you can use the multiplayer for you know push to talk your radio buttons uh, you can also map them to the lights on the helicopter or something, but there wasn't anything I really felt I needed on the helicopter. So that leaves us with just the the axes. Um, and you want to oh the thing here with the seven, you want to set your auto hover to on and off to the same button, and that'll go back and forth. So here in the helicopter we have cyclic forward. That means move forward. When you map that, that's going to be Y minus axis, push forward. You know, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory, easy to do when you, you map it. Uh, same thing, cyclic left, that's moving left and right. Collective raise, that's kind of, you know, give the engine more power. Now, just the weird thing about this is on my Logitech anyway, or how it's mapped, the, it says forward is negative and back is, is positive. So, you know, you can just push it forward for raise and back when you're mapping to lower, and it should work out how you expect it. Uh, left pedal and right pedal, that's the yaw, you know, just twisting. 
And another thing you want to look out for is you don't want to use the collective raise lower analog uh, because you know as you're pushing it up, that'll raise your collective in the middle. It won't do anything, and that'll lower your collective. But having it mapped here will kind of say, here is where I hover. You know, this is max power, and this is minimum power. So you always know where your power is based on where the stick is as opposed to moving along that scale and not really knowing where you are. So that's pretty much it. I'll just give you a quick little demo of, you know, what it feels like, looks like. So you just take off here, go to the keyboard, pick up the gear. You can map that to 8 or 10 if you want to. Look to the side, center look. I'm going to go on manual fire. And with the cannon, you know, my gunner still aims and I can shoot as much as I want. Have some targets over here. Can you even see them? Fire. I'll take care of them pretty good. Leave them be. I find it actually much more difficult to fly in third person view than I never usually do. Uh, most of the games I play online don't allow you anyway. So you can just see you have nice smooth controls. I, the lot deck is cheap and it's just a great controller. Bring it in pretty easily. Slow it down. Stop up here. Put my gear back down. Just land in this little spot. Put the auto hover on if I want to. Just make it a little easier to land once you're over where you want to be. Bring it down nice and soft. Got some rocks. There we go. And look where I was going. <laughs> we have flares. Zoom. Look around. Center look. I just find it pretty easy, this configuration, so I thought I'd share it. It's very nice. And that's all there is to it.